Hi there, how's everyone doing? So um, I'm five minutes late, sorry, excuse me. Um, I'm doing free live videos today. So you can go over to my business page, Any Journeys Counselling, where you can see my last video, which I did about five minutes ago, called Blended Families, Some Common Issues and Solutions. And that's part of the series that I've been doing every Sunday at 1 p.m. And then I'm just gonna quickly jump on and do this video. It's not gonna be too long, but what I've started to realize is that there are so many different topics regarding like personal development. Also on my business page, it's usually counseling related. And then I've also got a page called A Debt Free Life where I'll be doing my next video a moment ago. No, <laughs> next video soon. Um, and that's around money issues. And I think some, I don't do live videos every day or as regular as I would like to. So when I get the opportunity to, then I just kind of do free at once. Um, and then I'm spending the rest of the day with family. So what I want to talk about in this video, I know a lot of my friends are entrepreneurs, business people, um, quite motivated, inspirational people actually. I've only got, I think about 491 friends on Facebook now. My friends list was at 200 for years and I've been on Facebook since 2009. I purposely keep my friends list low because I want to get to know every single person. Um, I really value my friends. I don't just um, friend befriend people who I don't have a connection with and I don't also friend people so that they can give me business because obviously um, with my counselling business anyway you can't counsel people you know. Right with that being said let me talk about the three things that I think determine your success. Now I watch loads of stuff on motivational um, from motivational speakers. Some of my favourites are Gary Vaynerchuk, Jim Rowan, Darren Hardy, Les Brown, um, Anthony Robbins, you know, you could go on and on and on. And I think it just feeds your mind really, whether I'm in the bath and I'm listening to something, whether I'm cooking, um, whether I'm writing reports, I've always got something motivational on. And from listening to those things, but also just from my own perspective in terms of what I think, I think that there are three things that determine your success. Number one is your mindset. Number two is your environment. And number three is the people you surround yourself with. So I'm just going to go through those. I'm not going to make this a long video because um, I've got <laughs> things to do. I've got family waiting. But I just thought it was really important. And this is my view. So you can also add your own um, views on this and give me your thoughts. It would be brilliant to know what some of my friends think. Are there other things and other things you disagree with? So one of the questions I want to ask is, why is it so easy for some people to achieve success? whilst others never manage it. No matter what they do, they might listen to motivational stuff, they might go to all the networking events, they might take all the courses they need to take. You know, they've got the potential, but for whatever reason, they just never get to a point where they achieve success. Now, obviously success is a subjective word. To someone, success might mean just getting through a course and getting a qualification. To another person, success might mean you have to earn a certain amount of money. So you know, no one can really determine success uh, in certain ways, but I think there is sort of key aspects of things that we would say are successful. So a successful person, you would, um, someone like Beyonce, you would call her a successful singer, that would be based on album sales, that would be based on um, popularity, that would be based on um, just, yeah, songs being released and stuff and how far they get in the charts, that would be based on um, being, the amount of like, um, what's it called, <laughs> visibility that she has, the amount of power that she has, the fact if she bought out a clothing line like she did or she bought perfume out, it would sell. So all of that would mean that she's successful. Hi, whoever's online, thanks for joining. So we would call that. So let's start with mindset really. Mindset is about believing you can do it, having good habits, working hard, setting goals and seeing the bigger picture. So if you're someone whose mindset is, um, you know, always with the negative, you know, so you want to achieve success, but you're always talking about, well, uh, I would do it, but um, if I get up at six, you know, instead of seven, then I'm going to be tired or I would, um, you know, go out and sell this product, but I don't have time to like put it together and, oh, I would um, work harder, but what's the point in working hard when, you know, I need to get sleep or um, all sorts of excuses, so that gives you a good indication of what, how far someone's going to go. 
You have to start with your mindset, you know, and not make excuses. I used to be that person who used to always make excuses. Um, when I first had my business, I don't think I was putting in the amount of effort that I put in now. Every day I'm doing something. I don't have a day off. Um, I had last night off, <laughs> um, as I put on my status. I literally took the, the evening off. Now, think about that for a minute. It's a Saturday evening, because even on a Friday night, I'm still working. Um, all last week I had clients from Monday, um, no Monday I was in London, I had clients Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Um, so I've got to be working because I'm planning for the sessions, I'm writing up the, the reports after. But I, I love that energy and I love that passion and I don't care if it's 10 o'clock at night, you know, I might be researching something at that time. I know people who have sent me um, emails and they might also want an appointment the following day and I'll book them in. Um, now, to some people, they're going to say, well, that's extreme or you're a workaholic or when do you have downtime or when do you chill? I do chill and I do have time out, but I do put the work in because without putting the work in, you're not going to get anywhere. And there are all these people that say, you know, all this, 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 that book about the four, the four hour work week. Hi, whoever's online. I don't kind of, con I don't agree with, like, I don't understand that concept because I know what he's trying to say. He's saying that. If you get to a point where you're so successful, you can delegate everything to other people and you will only have to work four hours and you'll, you know, well, realistically, even the top people have said that that's not even right, realistic because for you to get to that stage, you're probably going to have to do 30, 40 years of grafting and then, you know, your business, you'll probably turn it over. It will be ticking over by itself. But before you get there, you have to put the work in. So it's mindset, setting them goals. You know, not following the crowd. You know, if everyone else is partying New Year's Eve, well, yeah, New Year's Eve exception because I do party <laughs> or I do, you know, Christmas, New Year's Eve, I do take time out. But, you know, on a bank holiday, you might have to be planning stuff. Hi, whoever's online. This um, phone, by the way, doesn't say who the people are that are online. It does show the hearts and the um, likes, so you can do them. But it doesn't tell me who's online and I don't always see the comments. So sorry to say hi. Um... So the second thing is environment. Let's talk about that one. Now, there's a big debate about whether someone's environment actually has an impact on um, whether they can achieve success or not. I want to give examples of people who have like grown up in the ghetto, do you know what I mean? And in the roughest parts of the world, really. Now, if they, if the, now for them to achieve success, it isn't impossible because nothing's impossible. But if you look at the um, barriers and the factors that have to have to be put in place, the barriers that have to be removed and the factors that come into play for someone to get from being in a poverty stricken, maybe gun ridden, gang area, you know, poverty, uh, not, you know, somewhere where everyone aspires to be something. And then for them to be that one person who stands up and says, well, no, I'm not coming with you running the streets and stuff. I'm not going to go and do this wrong thing. I'm going to study. You know, for someone in a classroom full of people who are all messing about, for them to say, no, you know, I'm putting my head down, doing this. It's hard. And I think people keep blazing over it. Oh, well, if you want to do well, you can do. Forget what your friends are doing. But peer pressure is massive. My thing is where you go, what you see, where you live and what you do, all has a massive impact so that environment is, is major. As an adult, if you've got children and they're growing up in the wrong environment, whether that's in within the house, whether the friends that they're running with or the area that you're living in, you've got a responsibility when they're children because they can't choose to get up and go and live somewhere else. But you can choose to live in a, an area which is probably going to be more productive. You can choose to like educate them at home, you know, by buying books. Um, instead of when they're on the Xbox every night for 20, uh, 20 hours, <laughs> when they're on the Xbox every night, you can switch that off and you can, hi, whoever's online, you can say to them, you're going to read a book tonight, you know, or let's all watch this educational program and let's discuss it after, you know what I mean? The, everyone thinks it's impossible, but you can have that type of family, you know, instead of watching the Disney Channel and letting it roll while you cook or you do whatever, even though you've got stuff to do. Why don't you all sit down and watch a documentary that's interesting and have a discussion about it after as a family? So your environment is made up of the area, the people you're associating with, the family environment, even the working environment. Because when you become an adult, if you choose to work in an environment where it's negative every day, where you've got no chance of um, progressing or being promoted, where you were literally just 
bored with your job, then that's your choice. You know, you've made that decision. So I say environment is massive. Try and be around people who inspire you, lift you up. Try to go to networking events, but also create the right environment within your home. Create the right environment wherever you go. I'm someone now that um, wherever, anytime I step out of the house, I'm trying to be in those positive environments, trying to have those conversations. And it's having a major impact on me because I can't go backwards now to like just being um, in the bad environments, negative environments, negativity. I can't, I, I'm not someone that can be around that. So the third thing before we end this is about the people. So it's about um, being around, which I sort of went on to in the environment bit, being around positive thinkers, people who inspire you, motivate you, challenge you and support you. Now, it's really difficult for people who are in relationships with partners. This comes up sometimes when I've been doing counselling, where their partner will not support them to achieve success. They want to go back to school or um, to college and learn stuff. They want to um, become something more in their life. They're talking about things they've learned, you know, about money or things they've learned about law of attraction. But the partner is saying, what are you going on about? And how can you go back to college? You know, we haven't got the money for that. Or who's going to look after the children? The partner is throwing like a spanner in the works instead of saying, OK, you can do this. We'll find a way of doing it. You have to make a decision not to leave your partner. <laughs> I'm not going to say that. But you have to make a decision to say, I'm going to persuade this person that, yeah, we can do it because it's what I want to do. Also, in terms of networking events, choose the right networking events. Not all of them are productive, I'm sorry. Just going to like 10 networking events every week or whatever isn't going to do anything if all of them are just about walking around, speaking to people, but exchanging cards. Some of those people might not ever buy business from you or recommend you to anyone. Some of the, that might be time wasted. For me, the networking event I go to in Darleston, which is the only one I commit to once a, uh, is it one, yeah, once a month, her name is Nina Verk and it's called Glow and Grow Coaching. That's the best networking event I've been to because it's structured. We don't just go there and say hello to each other. We have mastermind plans. We have accountability buddies. We have a presentation. We have speakers there. We sit around the table and we actually do things. You leave there feeling inspired. Hi, whoever's online. That's the type of networking I want where I go away and I start working on my business, where I meet people and we all talk about what we're struggling with and we all find solutions. I don't, the mingling ones I do like going to, but I've, I don't get anything from them and that's why I stopped going to those because that's more like, I call that socialising more than networking, business networking. So it's about being around those people who inspire you, being around those people who motivate you, motivate yourself as well, but don't like neglect the fact that these people can lift you up. You know, we all need that sometimes. We, I've got a life coach and she's fantastic. Angela P. Gordon, her name, I think it's P. Angela Gordon, <laughs> you can find her on Facebook. I had life coaches in the past that were not like that good, I'm being honest. You know, I've let, I let them keep the money. I didn't even want to carry on working with them. She inspires, she gives tasks for me to do. She holds you accountable. She can see into your soul and see what you need. You know, I, all I can speak on is myself in terms of my, I'm not successful yet, I'm not where I want to be, but I'm running a business, my business is making money, you know, my business account is looking healthy, it's looking good, um, I'm getting referrals, I'm getting inquiries, um, sometimes so much that I can't even like take some of them on, I'm getting visibility, I'm getting views on my channels, I'm doing what I need to do, but all of that is because of these three things, my mindset had to change, my environment's had to change and the people I surround myself with had to change. So that's that's it really. Do some If you want to be successful in anything you do, make some changes. So I'm going to go now because I've got one more video on my deck page um, and then I've got to go and spend time with my family. Thank you for watching. I can't see who joined me but I really appreciate you joining me on the lives. Um, anyone watching on the replay, leave your comments. Tell me what you think. What do you think determines someone's success? Thanks for watching and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye.